Hello, Internet. James Allen from Out of Eight. Today I'm playing roguelike role-playing game Ancient Domains of Mystery, a game that actually started development in 1994 uh, and then stopped being developed uh, somewhere in the 2000s, but has recently begun anew thanks to crowdfunding, uh, adding features to games to make it a little bit more accessible. Uh, so, the game is primarily text-based, although one of the additions that they made are 2D tile graphics, which makes the game a lot more approachable. Still has a whole host of weird and random keyboard commands uh, that you use to interact with the, with the game, although there is some rudimentary mouse support. Um, as with most roguelikes, it has permadeath. Uh, it has randomized dungeons, although it does not have a randomized main game map, which is a little disappointing. And it has all the role-playing stuff, like character creation, stuff like that. So I'm just going to generate a new character right here. Uh, you're born on a random day, which gives you some different aspects. The uh, time of year it is can affect uh, in-game actions and things like that, which is pretty interesting. Uh, I'm going to do a specific character type. I'm going to choose random. So I'll be a female, and then it gives you a bunch of races. I'm going to uh, be this guy right here, because I'm going to go hard archer. Uh, is kind of my choice here. So it's H. You can also use the mouse to select things to an extent, and then I'm just going to go Archer. It's a whole bunch of different things. There's a text manual file that tells you what all these things are. Uh, and there's also help uh, in the game. Uh, and then it gives you a little background story that you can read. I'm going to do random attributes. Uh, it just does a bunch of, you know, multiple choice questions to do the attributes. And then you can choose a couple talents. So since I am ranged, I want to pick ranged things. So I'm going to pick good shot. And affinity with bows. Uh, and then I'll had a couple of names picked out from the random name generator. There we go. And then you start out here in the same place of the main game world map. Uh, basically, you just kind of move around, uh, explore randomized dungeons, go into towns where you can uh, buy things and go and uh, get quests, uh, and then run into random parties, uh, which you'll have to fight. So, uh, movement's done using the numpad. So again, you know, very keyboard heavy. So just go over here. You can see the little keyboard commands here if you scroll along the bottom. So to enter, you have to press the uh, right carrot. So here we go. So there's my little person. And there's the first little enemy. Uh, let me check out my inventory. Uh, so right now, I'm using a sling with three rocks, which is actually pretty crappy. Uh, I'll pick up an arch archery thing here in a little bit. Have some tools, have some food, and have some gold I can use to buy stuff with. So, go back. Uh, you can, you know, get a whole bunch of different uh, items, which will give you attributes. Uh, and you have a certain amount of carrying capacity weight uh, there. So you can also see your character attributes and stuff like this. Uh, you can also have a bunch of actions. These are your skills that you have. So you can see I'm pretty good in archery, as you would imagine being an archer. I'm also pretty good in stealth. Uh, these are the things that I didn't... Uh, answer the questions for. Some of them are based on your race also. Uh, and then you can use some of these things on the uh, the main game world or their passive abilities that are active all the time. So uh, this guy's gonna die. Uh, the way you use the ranged weapons is you press the T key which chooses the target and then you can just you can cycle through targets or press the T again and there you go you're dead. So go over here. There's items on the ground and then what you do is obviously press the comma in order to pick stuff up. So I'm going to just pick all this stuff up. It does it one action at a time. The reason is it's because the game is turn-based, but each turn takes a certain amount of time. Uh, and within that time, enemy units can move and stuff like that. So that's why it doesn't let you pick everything up. Uh, although I will pick everything up here. So pretty good s amount of stuff there. Uh, this first dungeon is always the same, which makes starting out a little tedious and unexciting. I'm gonna pick up, oh, see, I don't get that thing. That stinks. Alright, so I got the wand. 
and we'll see this that guy the minotaur on the other side see if we can get rid of him so you press Z to zap with your wand and to the left and kind of alternate between stoning him and zapping him based on where he's at uh, yes I will reload and zap him again And one more time. There we go. Level up. So when you level up, you can improve your skills. I'm going to go archery. Uh, probably do two archery, actually. And what else do I want to do? Probably preserve food. There we go. Oh, and I leveled up again. Cool. All right. Let's do dodge and one more archery. There we go. Oh, and I gotta choose a new talent. So I have a little rocks and clubs, so I'm gonna do that one since that's what I have right now. Alright, so hopefully. There we go. Alright, so I can pick up my rocks. And move on to the next part. There is a secret passage here. It's w and S, it'll keep searching. The W key, and then if you move, you'll keep moving until you reach an interesting part or like the end of the wall. So the W key really helps you, uh, you know, kind of quickly navigate around dungeons and stuff. So around this next door is a whole bunch of goblins. And I have one more charge my wand. So I'll get all those guys. Alright, so I'm just gonna stone these guys. Sling is up to two. Alright, so that's the end of them. Pick up all my ooh, a grass thing. I'll equip that. And the goblin corpse. All these corpses you can actually eat, which is kind of gross. This is my brass amulet. I don't think I have anything else, though, that I can equip. Just a bunch of rocks. Potion. You can drink potions and they might kill you <laughs> or uh, give you good things. I'm not going to chance it yet. Open that door. Go down here. And I'll W up. There we go. And that's the end of that dungeon. Yes, I do. Alright, so there's the first dungeon there. Uh, there's a town down here. Enter that. So in here you got some uh, shops. And there's a farmer guy. And like an elder and like a little girl you can do missions. No, I don't want to attack the girl. I do want to talk to her though. So I gotta go find her dog. Alright, I'm gonna go find the town elder. Should be around here somewhere. The town is always generated the same. Here he is. So, capital C. Uh huh. Alright. Let's go over here. Hi, Sheriff. Okay. Uh, not yet. Show off the shop. I think it's up here. Yep. So here's the shop. So basically what you can do is you can actually... You can see over here there's debts. You can actually uh, buy things that you don't have money for and then pay like interest over time. Uh, which is kind of interesting. This is just food, which is kind of uh, uninteresting, to be honest. Yeah, well. A bone. So, I don't think I'm going to buy anything right now. I am burdened, though. Got too much stuff. Maybe I can sell some of this. Hey. Hey, buddy. 
Yeah. Or just drop it. Oh, uh, what could I drop? I actually probably want to eat that iron, which doesn't sound too tasty, but... So, uh, eat is an E. Oh, yeah, and the Doblin Corpse, too. And a large ration. There we go. Mmm. Yuck. Alright, so that's it for town. Alright, and then you just kind of go around and explore. Uh, and try to find some dungeons. But again, the map's the same every time, which is kind of disappointing. So you kind of figure out where everything is. A large jackal pack. Well, we'll try to evade. Oh, we did. There's the road with this thing. So we'll go into the boring cave. So here is the randomly generated uh, dungeons. Uh, mace. Oh, really? Uh, let's open the door. Door's locked. Can I kick the door? Ooh. Keep the rocks. When you try to unlock, kick doors, sometimes it's a trap, so it's not good. Okay, we'll zoom down here. A bit of candy. Uh, you can see the mini-map up here in the upper left. This is actually what the game looks like in all ASCII. Uh, for the most part, so that kind of gives you an idea of uh, of what that would s play like if you're into that sort of thing. Oh, hey, he's a rat. I hear a distant wind. Oh, hi, wolf. All right, let me just throw some rocks at you. There we go. Into that hallway. Open. Oh, good lord. Well, this is how I die. I'm gonna hit the guy that's in front of me. Here we go. Okay, I'm level four. Hold on, I'm gonna die. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> First aid. And archery. Your skills can go up to a hundred. Yeah, I'm um, gonna die. Maybe. There's uh, also more stuff to the game, obviously. Uh, if I open up <laughs> before I die here, if I open up the help, uh, you can actually pray to gods, which I might actually do here in a little bit, uh, and sacrifice things to them. Uh, you know, here's how you pay your bills and stuff. Uh, another thing you can do is you can change your tactics while you attack. I'm going to change this to very aggressive using F2, which I might actually do here. So that'll give you uh, plus five to hit and plus two to damage, but it takes more time. So let me get out of this door. Yeah. All right, level five. Quick. Uh, yeah. And I'm dead. Yep, there you go. Game over. <laughs> and then it gives you a pretty exhaustive rundown of uh, of what you did. Uh, and then how your stuff compares against other people, so. Uh, yeah. Let's just do a new character. That didn't take too long. Uh, and I'm just going to randomize everything. Fate. Random. A human male. That's kind of boring. A chaos. A human male chaos knight. Uh, random, of course. 
Uh, well, let's do... See, I wish when you chose your talent, you could see what your initial equipment is. Because that would make it a lot easier to choose things from the get-go. I think what I'm going to do is just toughness. All right, so this is a male. All right, unfortunately, uh, the first couple things are going to be exactly the same as before, so I'm going to try to do it somewhat quickly. Or at least as quickly as I can get. All right, let me see my equipment first. Full plate of armor and an axe. It's probably two-handed, I would imagine. Uh, let me see. Yep, it's two-handed. So, I should have gone for that two-handed thing. I kind of suspected being a Chaos Knight, that's what it would be, but that's okay. Alright, let's go. Okay. Take my bow, and my arrows, and my wand. Okay. Yep, oh, gotta equip it. I'll take my longbow, please. Alright, let's wand him. Oop, no, I don't. Oh, well, he's crappy then. I don't know how I'm gonna beat this then. Nothing happens when I use my wand. Well, you're terrible. Archery. I actually probably will dive in the water. Come on, kill him. Kill him. It's not a very exciting battle. I am taking him out, though. Yeah, you're not a very... Oh, crap. I'm going to die. Gosh, kill him already. Gosh, seriously. All right. What do we got? Yeah, you're a swimmer. Just swimming. Food and dodge. <sighs> Alright, here's my arrows that I don't need. Because <laughs> you, you suck at archery. Well, actually, honestly, I think I'm just going to drop that crap. I don't even need it. Drop the longbow. Drop the arrows. All of them. I'll need it. Alright. Can I do first aid? No. I can. Kind of wait to heal up. That's what I'm going to do. Keep kind of accelerating time here a little bit. This room is probably going to give me problems. Although, he can probably take down everything on his own. I'm just pressing up. <laughs> that was actually pretty easy. Oh, backstabbing. Let's do that, that, and... No, not two weapon combat. I actually have pretty crappy skills, buddy. Oh, here we go. Oh, affinity with two-handed weapons. That's what I want. Boom. Got some spears. Got a scroll. Got a corpse. And I'm going to eat something. Which is E. Goblin corpse. Err. And then down we go, and then we'll up we go, and out we go. Yes. 
Okay, I'm not even going to go to the town. I'm just going to kind of go in a different direction than I was going before. Oh, yeah, there's an outlaw settlement. No thanks. Uh, let's try to evade. Nope, guess not. Alright, let's start stabby stabby. Well, you are a terrible... You were a terrible person. Let's try to strip these out a little bit. Good lord. The scrolling kind of messes you up a bit. The little more messages, because it doesn't do more every turn. Okay, that's a level three there. Pretty bad skills. Alright. Alright. Ugh. Almost there. I'll take the jackal corpse just for fun. Alright, that's everybody. Well, that was a lot of stuff. Uh, let's eat this thing. to do it again. Yes, I do. This guy is very, holy crap, very melee focused. Just want to find another dungeon. <laughs> this is kind of ridiculous. I have to say. Jackals can suck it. <sighs> Alright. Problem is I'm getting killed by nine things that it's this is ridiculous. I just want to get to another dungeon. Well, the dungeons are different every time. Honestly, I think I'm just going to stop it here because this is this is just going to keep happening. She's going to keep summoning stuff. So, um, Overall, despite this jackal nonsense I'm currently dealing with, uh, I, I actually like it. I like the game. Uh, I'm glad that uh, it has some updated graphics. Uh, you know, it's still obviously very keyboard-based. Uh, you know, you have to know these obscure hotkeys like comma to pick items up and stuff like that. There is some partial mouse support, but you still have to, you know, kind of get the things dedicated to memory. So it's not as accessible as a lot of modern rogue uh, likes, maybe. But it's certainly better than staring at AS ASCII, which would be a big problem. Uh, so I think that makes it more accessible than the original game was. Uh, it's still not completely accessible, so it's not going to kind of appeal to everybody uh, simply because, you know, the presentation is still behind what you would consider a modern game. Uh, that said, it has a lot of nice features. I wish it would randomly generate uh, the main game map. It does randomly generate the dungeons. These little battle areas are, don't have terrain. That makes it very interesting. It's all on a big field. Uh, usually. Um, it does give you a lot of characteristics that you can uh, customize uh, between the uh, races, the classes, the alignments, the skills, talents, attributes, experience you gain over time. There's a bunch of magic which I did, actually didn't show off because I didn't get any magic people. Uh, what big magic system you can read about new spells and then use them in battle. Uh, you can undergo quests from towns, uh, purchase new items, equip yourself with lots of weapons and items, 
You have to worry about your burden level. Uh, use tools. You have to eat food. You can drink potions, which may kill you. Uh, you can perform first aid or any of those other skills over here. There's all your skills. Um, you know, you can search dungeons for secret passageways, uh, sacrifice or pray to the gods, uh, change your combat attributes, you know, whether you're more aggressive or defensive. Uh, so there certainly is a lot of stuff to, uh, to do in the game. And you can see why it was successfully crowdfunded because it's been around for so long and people are used to playing it and they wanted to see a more polished, more approachable version of the game. And that's certainly what they got. So while the game won't appeal to everybody because of its uh, still somewhat archaic presentation, I think fans of roguelikes who are used to playing things that are all ASCII based or very close to it uh, will like the updates that uh, they've made to the game. So that's all I have for today. Until next time, bye now.